It doesn't really cost American Express anything and for these other brands, they're just using it for marketing. In today's video, we're going to look at some very good American Express offers and then some traps to watch out for. Big favor before we dive into this is to give it a thumbs up and if for someone who likes stuff like this, consider subscribing. So there is going to be a chapters tool down below, but we'll start off with the basics, the ones that are available to everyone, American Express Platinum specific offers, the case for getting a platinum card, and the business offers. So starting off with the basics, these are going to be targeted offers, but we're seeing them readily across the board. So it's not just a small amount of people getting them, it's a lot of people. Number two, for anyone who hasn't played with these offers in a year or so, you can no longer double add them. So in the past, if you had two different American Express cards, you could have them both open on two different browsers and then try to add the offers at the same time in order to double add them. That's no longer the case and I did try it again this year. Even if you somehow got around this, I feel like American Express will claw this back given that it's in the terms. One enrolled card per card member across all American Express offer channels. Authorized user accounts don't seem to create a secondary offer, so something to be aware of. A lot of these offers are specifically for the personal platinum card and the personal and business centurion card. You can even see it in the terms that it's focused on those two demographics. So on one hand, it really sucks for people who don't want to get a platinum card. On the other hand, this is their flagship card and it's not even American Express footing the bill. They're pretty much pitching the platinum and the centurion card user base and going to places like Best Buy saying, hey, give them $50, they might end up spending more money. I think this makes a lot of sense and I'm expecting American Express to keep doing this moving forwards, especially in 2021. The terms do mention that these offers are for accounts that have been opened since November 1st of 2020. For the platinum offers, if you end up doing any upgrades, it's based off having that platinum card. Otherwise, that's pretty much it and I'd recommend adding the offers that you're thinking about using sooner rather than later just because some of them do have caps. Let's start off with the normal batch and the first one is going to be HBO Max. Spend $14.99 and get $7 back up to three times. If you don't see this, make sure you didn't add it to another card already and that if you have a lot of offers, you might need to actually add a bunch of them in order for this to show up. So for someone on a phone, then they only show up to 50 offers at a time. If you're on a desktop, it's going to be 100 offers. For any one of a player to get them out of the room. Blue Nile has an offer where you get $150 back after spending $750. So the reason I told you to get player two out of the room is because it seems like a lot of you are trying to propose. That's pretty much the only non-platinum and the non-business card offers. So obviously there are going to be other ones, but they're not really that interesting or there's nothing that moves the needle that much. Moving into the platinum batch, we're going to start off of Home Depot, where you're going to get $50 back for spending $50 and you can do this two times. Per the terms, it does need to be online and it can only be for ship to home or ship to store. If you do this in store, it does not work, so just be careful with this. In addition to this, curbside pickup and scheduled also does not work. Instacart has an offer where you're going to get $50 back after spending $250, and you can do this twice. Reminder that it's $250 in spend in one or more transactions, so you can break this up a lot. $250 definitely sounds like a lot, but over six months, over four or five different transactions, you might be able to hit one of those tranches. Best Buy has a really good one where you're going to get $50 back for spending $50 and you can do this twice. This is not going to be valid for in-store purchases and if you're ordering online, have it shipped. If you do in-store pickup or curbside pickup, it does not count. I'm someone who's buying hard drives anyway, so it's a pretty big win. For Best Buy, I'd recommend looking into Rakuten where they currently have 3% back. So Rakuten is a cashback portal you're going to get additional cashback or American Express points. It works out really well for the Dell credit, the Saks credit, and any of these other American Express offers. If you're doing those purchases anyways, then you might as well get additional cash back. And if you are someone new to Rakuten, I'll leave a referral link down below. For the container store, you're going to get $50 back after spending $150, and this is going to be up to two times, so $100. I'm not really a container store type of person, but if your player two wants to decorate the house and wants to organize it a bit better, then it might be a pretty good solution. Wine Insider is going to give you $30 back for spending $30 up to two times. Avis, spend $250, get $75 back up to two times. And yes, we still are on the platinum offers. Scribd or scribed? Scribd. Scribd, you're going to get $9.99 back after spending $9.99. And you can do that up to five times. It actually sounds pretty interesting, so I'll probably check it out. Samsung has an offer where you're going to get $200 back for spending $1,000. So there's no exceptions on phones for this offer, so that's pretty good. And if you're someone looking for the S21, then this is going to be a pretty awesome offer. Home Chef has an offer where you're getting $50 back after spending $50. 
So it looks like there's two sweet spots. The first one is two people and two meals, so four in total. With taxes, that should get you $50 and effectively free. Alternatively, you could do two people and three meals each, so six meals total, for about $10 additional. So $60 paid and then $50 back, and it's a pretty good bargain to me. So I did try to make an order, but they're not delivering in my area, so let me know down below how it goes if you do try it out. Gold Belly has an offer where you're getting $50 back for spending $100, and you can do this up to three times. I've heard pretty good things, but I haven't tried it myself. So the idea around it is that you can order from your favorite stores that might be across the country. So if Mandy was craving some Texas barbecue from Franklin's in Austin, she could actually order that. It is pretty expensive, so a five pound whole brisket is going to be $250. If you have some guests coming over or if you're just craving it, then it might still be worth it. Yeah, barbecue in San Francisco sucks. It's overpriced and it doesn't even taste good. Yeah, and it's like two slitters of brisket for $25. So this does bring up a pretty good question of whether you should apply for a platinum card if American Express is so intent on pushing it out. I'll probably cover this more thoroughly in a different video, but I've talked about this a lot in the past. The platinum card is going to be their flagship card, and it's going to be the one that they can sell the most to advertisers. At the end of the day, it's the vendors offering these perks to us as consumers, but American Express is putting that deal together. It doesn't really cost American Express anything, and for these other brands, they're just using it for marketing. I know some people get angry of this, especially people who don't want to get the Platinum card, but there is a rationale there. American Express doesn't just want you to have the Gold card. They want you to have the Gold card for X, the Platinum card for Y, and probably the Green card or the Everyday Preferred for Z. If you are someone considering the Platinum card, I'd recommend checking Card Match to see if you have an increased offer. Oftentimes these go towards new customers, but it looks like they're targeting new people, so 100,000 or 125,000 points. End of the day, you need to find cards that make sense for you based off your circumstances, based off what you're looking to achieve. Maybe you're focused on cash back and the Platinum card doesn't really fit into that, and I think that's perfectly fine. On that note, if you do want to learn about cards, whether it's American Express, whether it's some other issuer, we do have links on our site, AskSebi.com, or down below in the description box. Business cards have a ton of offers, especially for higher spenders. For FedEx, you're going to get 30% back on shipping up to $800. 10% on office up to 1,000, and 10% on freight up to 1,000 as well. On the Business Platinum and the Business Centurion, they also have some very good offers where you're going to get four additional points for a lot of different categories. So five points in total until June 30th of 2021, and these are going to be for card members who've had the card since November 1st, 2020. We're seeing this across the board on shipping, gas, wireless, ad spend, and also office supply stores. For each of them, it's going to be up to an additional 80,000 points, so $20,000 in spend. I think for normal people, this sounds pretty boring, but if you're someone who runs a small business or even a sole prop, this can add up pretty quickly. Depending on the industry you're in and also your business, margins might not be as good as people think. Think about people reselling stuff, people on Etsy, people who run restaurants or other convenience stores. There's going to be a lot of costs and you're getting some of it back. If your margin's only $5, but you're getting 5x back additionally, then that's pretty good because that's kind of doubling your profit. I think for a lot of people who run small businesses who have that spend anyways, this is going to be a lot better than a $30 PayPal credit. My question for you guys is which of these offers are you looking to use and which one's your favorite? Best Buy is probably number one for me just because I've been making purchases there anyways. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. If you know anyone else who'd benefit, share this with them. I'll probably help them out, but otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.